Hey everyone, this is Devin Sheets with Alpha Sound. I've been getting a lot of questions about why we put all the subs on one side of the stage in smaller outdoor venues like this. We do this because we feel it's better than stereo subwoofer configurations. When you do subs in stereo, it might look okay in the software on a broadband calculation. There's like a little bit of power alley, but overall it looks pretty smooth. But when you break it down per frequency, you can see that there's massive nulls and cancellation spots. Comb filtering in general means that most people in the venue are gonna have a somewhat degraded subwoofer experience. Now ideally, you'd wanna have a mono cluster of subs that's down in front of the stage in the middle, maybe in a line, but we can't do that because as you can see in this venue, we have a banner in front of the stage that we don't want to cover. And so we chose to put them all on one side. And what this does is it gives you a uniform frequency response in the venue with no comb filtering. At every frequency, the frequency response is smooth. If you're sitting in the front row of the venue, from side to side, in total, there's about a nine decibel difference in the bass. And if you're midway back in the venue, from side to side, there's only about a three decibel difference. And by the time you get to the back of this venue, there's really no difference at all. Now, what about that nine decibel difference in the front? Well, if you just mix for the center of the venue, then your subwoofer level is gonna fluctuate up and down, plus or minus, about four decibels. That's well within the window of acceptability. I mean, so the subs are about 4 dB louder than ideal, or they're about 4 dB quieter than ideal in the overall mix. That's not that bad. Also, if you just show up and pick a spot in the venue and sit there listening, and you don't know that the subwoofer level is several dB difference at some other point in the venue. You don't have that comparison because you're not walking the venue like a sound engineer might. Then you don't know what to compare it to and you just accept the sound at face value. And if the overall mix is well balanced and full sounding, it's not gonna bother you too much. The other thing about bass frequencies is that they tend to be spatially ambiguous anyway. And they're also psychoacoustically connected to the upper structure harmonics in the mid-range and high frequencies. So if your stereo mix is pretty well balanced and the imaging is good, having the bass information come from just off to one side a little bit isn't really gonna bother anybody. Probably only you. So get over it. The bottom line is that there might be a few people who sit way, way over on the side that doesn't have the subs who might say, oh, the bass is a little bit, you know, lacking. Okay, well, that's a small sacrifice to make for having 98% of the people have really smooth and good, well-balanced bass in the venue, as opposed to doing stereo subs, where most people have some level of degradation in their bass experience. If you want other cool tips and tricks on subwoofer configurations or just mixing in general, go to our website, go to Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We've got a bunch of great content on there for free. Thanks for watching.